generally, Unix commands fall into three categories. System utilities, interactive commands, and filters. You're probably familiar with the first two. Let's take a detailed look at this third class, filters. Filters describe a series of Unix commands that have certain characteristics. First, they all have redirectable input and output streams. Next, they always take their arguments off the command line. Third, filters provide text processing capabilities. The important thing about filters is that they can be placed in the middle of a pipeline. In essence, they can be used to process text as it moves through a series of commands in a pipeline. The Unix system treats text as simply a stream of characters. Filters view their input as lines of text, and they then process these lines of text depending on which filter you're using. For example, a filter that searches for patterns in text, in essence, removes those lines from its input that don't contain the pattern. Those that move through the stream are those that do contain the pattern. In sorting, a filter would take the input, rearrange it, and then send it on its way. Editing and formatting take input, read the lines, and possibly change them or add something to them before they get sent on their way. By connecting filters up to one another in a pipeline, you can get a great deal of text processing done. And you'll be surprised how much text processing can do. For example, consider this common application. You have a series of names and addresses that you've stored in a file. And what you need are some of the names in that file printed in labels so you can paste them onto envelopes and send them to somebody. To make this more realistic, let's assume that you need the names of the people in California sorted by zip code, formatted into one-up labels. On most computers, you'd have to buy software or write software to do this conversion from data in the file to data on the printer. Because of the use of filters, Unix allows you to do this directly with tools provided by the system. The first step is to move the names through a searching filter to find those in California. Connect this up to a sorting filter which will put them in zip code order. Then move them through a formatting filter which will put them in one-up labels. If you want, you can send them directly to the printer or you can store them in a file for use later. Printing selected names in a preset format is a common task done on a computer. On the Unix system, this can be done using three filters in a pipeline. The first step in being able to create these kinds of applications is learning how to use the important Unix filters so that you know the power they have to create these pipelines. We're going to cover four important Unix filters in this section and the next one. In order to provide an example that will pull all of this together, I've decided to focus on a computerized phone list. That's a common thing people want to have on their system and search through to locate people's phone numbers. On my system, I have a sample file called phone.list, which contains these names. This list has a very specific format. It's always the last name, a comma, a space, the first name, a tab, and then a phone number. Note the phone number has a specific format. It's always a number, a dash, followed by four numbers. In addition, there are no spaces or any other characters after the last number on each line. Because the format has been specified, it's easy to search for the different components in the phone list. If I want to search the list by phone number, it's important to note that a phone number always starts after a tab. 
If I wish to start searching for somebody's first name, I have to realize that the first name always follows a comma and a space. The last name always starts each line. One of the most useful Unix filters is a command that searches through text in a file for patterns that you specify on the command line. We'll use this with the phone list to locate people's names and phone numbers. The Unix searching filter is a command called grep. 